for the oil part, I'm using 8K uh, silicone diff fluid. Some people do use the car grease, I don't. I don't like using the car grease. I think it's just, after, <clears throat> when there's friction a lot, it just dries up quite a bit. And it's just, you just don't get the same performance as you would. Uh, so I'm using the 8K, the proper stuff that you need to do. So all you need to do is just, you can tell it's quite thick, the 8K. So fill it up a bit, let it settle. Turn your gears a bit. Don't fill it all the way up or even halfway just yet. Just let it, let it settle and see how much you got in there. Fill it up a bit more. See how much you got now. Just keep turning the gears a little bit. If they do come out, just push them back down. It's not a biggie. Push them a bit down. Slowly turn them again. What you want to do, you want to fill it just over halfway. That's what I do. So that, to me, looks just perfect. Enough oil. Don't need any more than that. So, next step, it's quite simple. All you need to do is put your cover back on. Be careful when you do this because that gear might come out, might slide out. So, make sure you got your holes lined up. That oil is quite thick, so it's not going to leak out straight away. So. I know and pop it in. Now when you turn it, yeah, it turns all the gears gears working. That's that's the sign basically the gears working, so you got everything right in there. Once you've got them tightened just enough, all you want to do now is tighten them more. But the way you tighten them this time is in star pattern. To get a nice, even tightness all around. That's it. As you can see, I've got a bit of uh, oil there. That's probably screwing the screw in, all left over from when I was cleaning them all. Right. So that's your gear assembled and your oil changed. So that's that part. So let's reassemble the rest of it now. What we're going to start with is by popping these bearings in. One goes in the inside, one goes in the outside. Simple as that. And then you want to put this gear back in. So it goes in the inside, just like that. And now, I don't have to do this now, but I'm going to do it now. So just put your little uh, bit back, tighten it up, that's the right end. So just tighten up, you just, you're doing this now, we'll make sure the gear doesn't come out. So that's that. Now, what you can do is, you can place this back in, which way was it? Make it was that way. Let's check. Yeah, that way. So for the final step, you need to grease these. But I want you using the silicon oil for that. I'll be using just normal car grease oil for that. So let's get a glove. Right. So all you want to do is don't go mad with it. You don't have to go shy with it either. Just get enough. Paste it around the gears. All you need is for the oil to be in the gears, nowhere else really. So put enough, and just turn them to get the oil evenly. Doesn't matter if you've got too much on it, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure all the gears are covered. So that's your <coughs> so now you've got these gears greased up that's all the risk to it all you do now is reassemble the rest of your um, 
differential. However, your, yours is being reassembled, everyone's different, as I said before. So that's how you change your differential oil on your RC car, guys. It's not, it's not that hard at all. You just need to follow some f a few simple steps, and that's about it. So don't be afraid to do it yourself. You don't necessarily need to take it to the shop for, for anyone else to do it. And if you can, do use the proper stuff. It's a lot better, and your gears will thank you for it. So uh, that's all there is to that. So I hope you enjoyed it, and it helped you today. See you until next time. Here we go.